Welcome to a brand new episode, The Substitute Tour. Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode. We really appreciate you joining us. This podcast really shows us how we can all learn, live, and thrive off of each other. By sharing our knowledge through our conversations, we will impart some knowledge whilst learning ourselves how to progress even further. Here is your host. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Diane. Really appreciate it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Substitute Tour. On this episode, I brought along a very special guest on today. Um, he is at it is thunderstorming right now outside of where I am. Um I brought along a very special guest on to my brand new podcast. He is the host of Demi and Talks Education. Um, a lot uh, host of co-host of Friends with Demi and Andrew, co-host of Future Educators Talk, uh, host of All Things Demi. He is a workaholic. Okay, let me just pull it. <laughs> let me- let me just put it in simple terms. Uh, he is a workaholic. Joining me live from Tennessee, uh, please welcome to the Substitute Tour, Danny Anderson. Welcome. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for that intro and thanks for having me on, on to your new podcast. Yes, yes. Uh, so on today, so today it's not going to be me talking today. Um, if you have not watched the last episode of Black the Substitute Tour, you might want to go watch it now. Stop whatever you're doing and watch it now. Also, you can listen to the Substitute Tour and all your uh, all your listening podcast platforms. So on today, like I said again, I'm not going to be the one that's talking. It's going to be Damien's turn to talk because um, he will be sharing his it's reflecting year as TA as this school year is about to begin in August. So, Damien, I'm gonna let you take up from here. Yes, thank you so much, Andrew, for that. And yes, the school and you guys. Um, before I get started, you guys just bear with me here with my voice. Um, I had a scratchy throat on last night, and it's still quite hurt. So you guys just bear with me here on today. But yes, the upcoming school year is is approaching us, and I am so excited because this is going to be my second year. Um, as a teacher assistant, and for all of you guys who don't know. Um, you know, if you're brand new here or, you know, whatever. Um, I started this job here because I currently work at the After School Children Program this Monday through Friday. And I start working here last year, back in all 2020. And I have been loving it ever since. And I'm so ready to go back because the last time that I was over there was, you know, back at the end of the school year, which was in over here, which back in May, somewhere in May, quite like toward the middle of May, um, right before um, our high school, before the high school graduation. That was my last day. And I was planning on um, for this summer to, you know, because every summer they have summer enrichment programs, you know, for, you know, the students, you know, to do some activities, fun games, you know, play outside, you know, go on trips, stuff like that. And I was planning on, you know, being a part of that because once I used to be a student over there when I was back in middle school, but now, you know, like since I work over there, you know, this could be my, you know, like first year of actually, you know, being, you know, helping them out. But unfortunately, that didn't happen for me because things, you know, life happens and I 
couldn't go during the summer, but I am ready to go back. I am so ready to go back in August. And for you guys who wants to know, um, I currently work with um, second graders. Um, and <laughs> some of you guys probably know this, if you know me, then Andrew, um, I don't, I don't, that's not, that's not my, you know, age group of working with, because this was my first experience last year. I was like, okay, yes, yes, I, I will be fine working with them. And for the most part, you know, the first like few months, it was great for me. It was totally fine for me. You know, they was listening to me, they was doing their work, this and that. But then, you know, quiet down, um, almost toward Christmas break because um, Andrew's know this, Andrew knows this, like I had COVID back during that time and then I wasn't able to go back to work. So they didn't have me at, at all in the month of December or like in November. Um, and I returned back um, in January. And then once I came back, you know, they were so excited to see me. They were still, you know, listening to me, you know, doing their work, but then something quite happened um, when after, you know, we went on for spring break. And something totally changed after that. They started to, you know, not listen very often to me. They want to do things their own way. They want to do this and that. And I'm like, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Last week, you guys was fine. What, 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 like what happened between those times? And I'm like, and that was like that throughout this entire school year. So for all the second graders, teachers out there, I don't know how you guys do it, but I can't, I seriously, I cannot because I'll be like, I, I explained Andrew with this. Well, during that time, um, I was like at my breaking point with them because I just, I couldn't, I couldn't handle it anymore. I just really couldn't. But this year I'll still be doing second graders. Um, I will have a new batch of students um, and these students, I know them very well because I had them, um, well, I was working with them into the last school year. So I know, you know, how they work, their personality, this and that. Um, so yeah, very excited to go back this upcoming school year. So um, that's, that's about it as of now. If you have something, Andrew, because I know you do. So um, <laughs> that's, that's, that's like where I'm at right now. Um, so yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. At least you are are you prepared? Are you prepared or are you prepared? absolutely? Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I absolutely prepare for it. Yeah. Okay. So that's the main thing is you gotta you gotta be prepared of what's what's gonna happen for this oh, yeah. year. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. So like my driver said teacher always tell me always expect the unexpected so be on your toes be on your toes mm -hmm. um so thank you um i do have a question for y'all um so you get a new batch of students every year now will, will you be continue working with those students or different group of students once you um like once you become a teacher would you continue with that you mean once i become a teacher will i continue on with that after school children program yes that's a good question that really is hopefully Hopefully, yes. Hopefully, yes, because um, 
because where I'm working at now, because I have, because I know those people over there very well, uh, my coworkers, and then one of them used to be my former um, sixth grade science teacher, and and besides, she's like, um, she's family to me, so, and then, like, she runs the place, like, she, because when I was back in sixth grade, like, when, you know, um, at the end of school day, she would always, you know, leave a little early, so she could go down to that program, you know, get everything ready, you know, for when the students, you know, get out of school and stuff like that, so hopefully, yes, I will continue on doing that, and maybe, who knows, because, probably like in a couple more years, she will have to eventually retire from doing that. But that 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 is what she loves to do so much. And maybe, I don't know, she probably gonna, I don't know, maybe throw the hands, you know, at me, for me, you know, of running the place once she, you know, you know, really does retire from it. So who knows? I don't know. But yes, I, once, once I do become a teacher, because I'm going to stick where I'm at now, because I want to teach at my um, old middle school. Um, so I'm staying in my community. Um, so yeah. Good thing that you brought up running the place. Do you uh, see yourself running that just in case she does retire and she does mm -hmm. like oh, hear them and here's all the materials, here's all the stuff that you need. Do you see yourself running that program after she Ab leaves? And tell absolutely. me why. Absolutely, absolutely, because she really does know me. She she really does. She knows that I am, you know, a hard worker. I'm dedicated, you know, to what I do. She knows that I love working with students. And I feel that she, she would like once she does because she has already retired from um, teaching, which was a couple of years ago, but she still runs the place as of you know now. But I feel like if she does, like truly one day, she I mean, she will retire from it, but I, I don't know when, when that day's going to come. But I feel like she can trust me of handing over, you know, the reins to me and saying, I know you got this, you can run this very good and this and that. So I I, I really just I really do feel that. So yes. Um yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Um well, I know I know I know I apologize. It's a short episode. I know some episodes are some of them is long, some of them is uh, like 15 minutes, uh, you know, we're trying to get out there as soon as possible. Uh, mm -hmm. But I would like to thank, thank the thank, thank um, Mr. Anderson for coming on to the show of the substitute tour. Um, so, yeah, make sure you uh, follow him and all his social medias, all his social medias and his shows. Will be linked down in the description below so that you can go check it out and some of his projects that he's doing. And we'll be looking forward to have him back on later on, um, later on in the school year for a mid year checkup. Yes, we're doing <laughs> a mid year checkup, so you still have to schedule a doctor's appointment. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, he has to schedule a, a checkup. If we don't get the joke, then, um, I don't know what's wrong with you. Um, mm -hmm. but stay tuned later on in the mid year, cause I will be him. I will be, him, I will, I will be bringing him on for a mid year checkup to see how he's doing. <laughs> and see if the same if the if they if the second graders are about to lose his mind um because i surely uh -huh. did about a couple um last a uh, couple of days ago which that episode will not come out until august but it's okay um but other than that um thank you sir for for coming onto my show Hope you come back very, very soon. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much for having me on. And yes, I will be back, you know, to tell you guys 
an update and I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. My update is, is gonna be the same as I told Andrew on my other podcast. I'm gonna be at my breaking point because I know these students, I know them. So um, yeah, so that's just a sneak peek for you guys when I return back. I'm gonna be at my breaking point. I'm gonna tell you that. So without further ado, um, I am Andrew Friet, and this is the Substitute Tour. Hope you have a fantastic, fantastic Tuesday. I almost forgot what day this episode will come out. Yeah. But I uh, <laughs> hope you have a fantastic Tuesday, and we will see y'all next week on another brand new episode of the Substitute Tour. Take care, everybody. And of course, Miss Diane. Make sure to follow us on Twitter. The Substitute Tour. Follow on Apple Podcasts. The Substitute Tour.